Let's see. See Rocky the Let's man in the go. corner. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing out of the one blow KO blue corner. Sitting five foot ten inches tall. Weighing at 134.6 pounds. Making his debut kickboxing time from Springfield Martial Arts Center from Springville, Missouri, Ezekiel Gardner. And his opponent fighting ever blaze and dino red corner standing five foot ten inches tall. Weighing it at 128.8 pounds. 16 years old, making his debut. Family Combat Fitness, Fort Smith, make some noise, Braden Knuckles Nibbler. Come in five pounds lighter. That boy is slender. I had a friend that was built like him in high school. We called him Gas because a good wind would blow him away. <laughs> that dude is, he's fun to watch though. This kid's tough. Nice little switch kick there by Ezekiel. A little, little spinning back fist there. Yeah, he's not playing around. He's starting to hurt. Oh, nice. That was nice. Yeah, Low he's been kick training into a, while. a question on kick right into a side kick. Beautiful kicks. Braden staying in the pocket, though. He's looking for some punches himself. Niblet will trade. Absolutely. He's in there to have some fun as well. That was nice. Yeah, we're not allowed to hold the kicks. Yeah, and that's particularly you can't catch, can't catch the kick and let alone and throw. return. Yeah. Nice fakes, getting him to react. Rocky Demir's our, our ref for the evening. He's a good one. He needs to put his hands up. He's been keeping him down low this whole time. I think he's pretty confident. He knows he's got some power. He's looking for that shot. Yeah, he's got a pretty good little whip in his hips. He's gonna he's gonna have to turn his hips and uh, he's gonna have to turn his hips to extend that leg out. He's gonna shorten one of those things. Yeah, those kicks are doing some damage. You see him favoring that left foot. It sounded like maybe he uh, he took an elbow to the top of the foot or to a toe or something. No, there's a minute ten left. Maybe it threw a little knee there. Yes. I'll tell you what, this, this kid has really nice dexterous legs. Absolutely, absolutely. The way he's turning his kicks over, slapping them, turning them, that, that question mark kick, beautiful kicks. He, he's been kicking for quite a while. Here in a minute, you see me. It's not during this exchange, it's during a. Uh, uh, Exchange just previous to this, where he threw like a little leg kick right into a question mark kick and then put the foot down and right into a, a side kick. It was very nice. Absolutely. Brayden's doing a good job using those fakes like that. Ezekiel's dropping his hands. He, ne he needs to uh, put his hands up a little bit as much as right he's falling there. for those fakes. Right there. That was really nice. Beautiful kicks. Zeke in the black and gold. Niblet in the solid black Muay Thai shorts. Niblet comes out with a low kick. We see a lot of a lot of single strikes, a lot of single kicks right here. Really, if you really want to land those, you really have to set them up with one or the other. He needs to throw some. He needs to throw a few punches first, then really run into one of those kicks. A little step across hook. Both guys are doing a great job, though, of staying in there and fighting. Being as young as they are, that's pretty scary. Nice, nice little push kick there. Just missed. Nice return there by Niblet. 
Staying patient as well, throwing those punches, not getting too excited, holding his guard up high. He's been doing great about that. Looks like Ezekiel's wearing down a little bit. Beautiful fake vibrating. Oh, nice little rear, rear hand there by Niblet. It's hard to generate a lot of pop with these gloves. You can get some pop, but as far as just a violent shot, a little harder for these guys to, to generate that kind of energy, especially the arm punch, and they really got to chop their feet through it to throw a good solid punch. He's having trouble remembering he can't, he can't catch that, that kick. That's landing regularly for him. They are going at it. Just throwing and throwing. Nibbler just almost dropped Ezekiel. Just almost dropped Ezekiel there. Looks like Ezekiel has a little bit of blood boys. coming from his nose here. Nibble is just having fun out there. Knuckles Ezekiel's uh, drawing some blood here on Ezekiel. He's got a little nosebleed there. They're going to see if they can't get his nosebleed stopped. Right here, Nibwit throwing some straight punches, nice straight punches. He's getting him to react off of that fake. Right there, he's reacting off of that fake every time. And like you say, he has trouble catching that hand. He dropped his hands or catching that leg. He's catching that leg, and Niblet capitalized on it. Right there, Niblet, Niblet caught him with the left hook and just, just stumbled him just a little bit. I'm going to have to give the first round to Zeke, the second round probably to Niblet. Absolutely. This is a great fight. Braden's got a nice corner over there as well. He's got Parker in DC over there. Yeah, those kicks are looking nasty in this round again. He come out a little more energized. Maybe he got a second win. Oh, a little Superman punch. <laughs> oh, Nibla was ready to suplex him. <laughs> we're, we're naked. Yeah, we're naked. They're throwing, though. They're they're ready. Oh, I think he might have threw a lot got, on that. He's got Zeke's attention now, I think. Ezekiel's attention. Both boys know the danger now. Right there, Ezekiel's dropping his hands whenever he throws that. Great fight. You can hear Ezekiel's corner saying, hey, don't just stand there. Don't, don't, don't be a puncher. He's got to keep his hands up once again. He, he, he's reaching and keeping his hands low. Little body shot there. I think if either one of them just slows down and picks their shots a little bit, I think we can get a finish right here. We got 25 seconds left. See, Niblet likes to end the end it with a flurry right here. Ten seconds. I see yeah. Niblet coming forward. To oh, he got hit pretty good. Great fight Good by fight. both oh, boys. Well done, there, there, there's definitely no loser in that fight. Both of them came forward all the way to the finish. Hard punches, fought their butts off. Great job. I love watching this kid Niblet fight, man. Absolutely. Ezekiel brought it all the way from Missouri, ready to fight as well. Great job by both boys. Braden getting the crowd pumped. Oh, it's so much fun. Definitely excited. The energy in the building just got a little bit higher. Remember this this Nibble kid's 16 years old, man. I miss what are, 
How many 16 year olds know are doing this right now? Not, not very many because it, it, being that young, you look up to everybody in the gym too. So you always have a place to, to look and to learn. And he does that. He, he looks up to everybody in the gym. Everybody really looks up to him because he's just a great positive kid that's always there training. That's amazing. I love that. DC said it best. They, they asked, what, what's, what's your best discipline? What's the, what's the one good thing that you're good at? He said, just showing up at the gym. Showing up. Showing up. The best, av the best ability is availability. Yeah. That's a, a Mark Schlereth that played uh, was a lineman for the Denver Broncos. He said how many times he played with, in uh, with uh, injuries. And they said, uh, what was your best ability? He said, I was availability. I was always available, injured or otherwise. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of the we have got a split it. decision. Your winner fighting out of the blue corner, wow. Ezekiel Gardner. Congratulations, Ezekiel.